guys, how are you doing? Okay, so today's video is going to be a rehousing of my Leth Lethocerus Indicus, which is my water bug. Um, and then at the end, just a little bonus feeding um, of it. It was It's actually some really cool footage that I've got. Um, so yeah, that's it. I know it's nothing exciting at the moment. Uh, to be honest, things have been like quite crazy here like lately. Um, like mentally, I've been drained, um, and then just other issues with family and stuff. Um, it's all cool though. Um, so yeah, uh, well, I'm hoping to be back to normal as soon as possible. Let's just uh, let's just crack into it, shall we? And let's look, let's not um, dwell on the bad stuff. So uh, let's go. We are going to be rehousing the water bug which is in the tank just behind this one. Um, I've bought this 12 litre tank. Um, I've got some nice um, like water grass I guess. Some water substrate, bits and pieces here to use. Um, we're just gonna yeah give her a bit of a cooler looking home really. Um, I don't have a tripod so we're just gonna have to like cut to the snippets of bits that I've already done. So I'm first going to start by trying to figure out where I'm going to put the plants and stuff. Um, but I'm going to need two hands to do that because so far they currently sit a bit too high and I don't really want to cut them down. So I don't want the substrate to be that high either as it's like sort of like that height at the moment, which is most of the tanks. So I'm going to cut it down to be about oh, maybe an inch and a half ish. Um, with substrate and then thin layer of water on the top for the water bug so we're just going to cut straight ahead to when these are plopped in and there's substrate in oh uh, so here is the finished product i know the water looks murky but there's not much i can really do about that this piece of cork bark was in her tank originally so i've sort of like cut that down a little bit and created a hard underneath um you can't really see well here um, I have done it so that it dips down a little bit. Um, it does go a little bit deeper, I think, if I remember correctly. But to be honest, she doesn't need massively amounts of deep water. I know you guys probably watch Petco's videos as well. His um, can handle deeper water, whereas mine, the the tail that sort of comes out for oxygen isn't as long as Petco's. Mine, my ones is. Um, quite short so she, ne she only needs very shallow water anyway um, so I've just sort of tried to create this as much as a natural environment as I can so I've got these stones that sort of like go down they do stop so just here is mud um, but you've got some stones around here some stones around here and I've just tried to make it look as natural as possible and as pretty as possible um, she's got plenty of opportunity to come out of the water and go into the water as she wishes um, and I'm hoping that these plants will help to filter the water a little bit better. Obviously, when the water starts to go down, I'll just top it up um, as and when it's needed. If I find that the plants aren't doing what they want, I want them to do, then I will get a very, very small filter. Um, and I'll probably put it at the back of this sort of plant here or the back of this plant here. Well, depends. We'll, we'll see how I'll things go um, so right now we just need to rehouse this woman here so I picked her up for the transfer um, as you can see here and she doesn't want to let go of the plant thing so we'll just pop her in there with the plant for now and then she should allow me to take it off of her just swap hands and there we go awesome so there she is in a no home, probably a bit like, what the hell is going on? Um, I'm going to try, I'll actually pop her in the water so that she knows where the water is. Come here you. Right. Next door is doing something in the kitchen. There she goes. She's in the water now, she knows what's going on. So I've just had this alien looking thing attached to my tweezers when I try to feed it. Oh god, that's just so weird. And the 
if it is still alive. It's got like a funnel type mouth, I guess. That's like dug straight down into the cricket. You, you can see it very clearly there. Oh god, that's just the strangest thing. I've never really properly seen it eat before. Um, so this is like real cool and also really gross. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm still laying on the floor, but why not? <laughs> I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you guys in the next one. 